Okay, this is case three. The degree of the denominator plus one is the degree of the numerator. In other words, the degree of the numerator is one more, one higher than the degree of the denominator. So like x squared over x, or x to the fifth over x to the fourth, that kind of thing <coughs> for the leading terms. For this, you get what's called an oblique or slanted asymptote. I tend to call it slanted because I tend to forget to call it oblique. <laughs> um, and you get, you get an asymptote uh, with an equation of the form y equals mx plus b. That's a standard y-intercept form with m not equal to zero because y equals b would be a horizontal one. That would be case one or two. And this is case three. Degree of the denominator is one less than the degree of the numerator. Okay, so for example, f of x equals 5x squared plus 9x minus 6 over x plus 2. And what you want to do when you're thinking, okay, I need to find the asymptotic behavior of this, is you want to think long division. So I can divide those two. The degree of the numerator is higher than the degree of the denominator, so I can divide them. And when I divide them, the quotient will give me the equation for the asymptote, for the asymptote, for the slanted asymptote. So I'm just dividing long division. You have to know how to do this. Go back and review it if you've forgotten or if you didn't figure it out, right? So it's gonna be y equals five x minus one. And the reason is, because if you continue this, you would get, so f of x equals this. Right, I put the minus in front there of the fraction. So we want the polynomial part. The polynomial part will tell you the asymptotic behavior. And the reason is because the negative four over x plus two, as x gets large, that goes to zero. Large magnitude, either large positive or large magnitude negative number, like negative a billion. If x is negative a billion, that's practically zero. Right? So, um, so as x goes to plus or minus infinity, that goes to zero. So that means f of x goes to 5x minus 1. Because it's 5x minus 1 plus zero, right? So that means your asymptote is y equals 5x minus 1. So you just do it by long division. Now, if it was a constant, non-zero constant, you could do long division and you would just get a single term up here, just a constant term, and that would be y equals that constant term. It's just easier to do it the way I showed you on number two uh, rather than long division, but it's, it does work here. The reason you don't do it in case one is, case one is, would be just like the remainder, just like the re remainder part. This would be like case one. And degree of the denominator is greater than the degree of the numerator, so it's y equals zero, <laughs> right? Uh, so you just have to know that directly. So this graph happens to look like this. I had to put the, new, the vertical scales in tens in order to fit the numbers on the graph. So that's the line. So it has a vertical asymptote at x equals negative 2 because if you set the denominator equal to 0, you get x equals negative 2. So that's the vertical asymptote, remember? And then I do this long division to find y equals 5x minus 1. You have to remember to set this equal to y. Okay? And so it's going to approach this line as you go to the right and to the left. So the tail behavior is it approaches this line, the graph does. And so it looks like that. I just graphed a few points. Okay. It's not a hyperbola, but it sort of looks similar to one. Okay, lastly, case four.